The last thing I would share with you is for you to write, write the greatest story ever told. When I was in my late 20s, I had a staff member give me a Christmas gift, and it was a book, and when I opened it, the front cover said, the greatest story ever told, and I love to read, and I thought, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm, I'm about to read a book that's the greatest story ever told, and I very quickly opened up the book to see what it was all about, you know, go to the table of contents, and much to my surprise, when I opened the book, all the pages were blank. And I looked at her and I said, Eileen, I don't understand. The outside cover says, the greatest story ever told, and yet the pages are blank. And she smiled and she said, I know. She said, go to the front cover. And I went to the front of that book and she had written me a note and said, John, your life is before you. You fill these pages with your hopes, with your passion, with your dreams. You write. You write. You write the greatest story ever told. And I took that book home. And the next day on the first page, this was before I ever wrote any book, I put at the top of the first page, I want to make a difference. I didn't know how I was going to make a difference. I didn't know when I was going to make a difference. But I knew I wanted to make a difference. And at the age of 74, I'm still writing my story. I'm still writing. I'm still filling up the pages. And may I say to you, God has a plan for your life. He has instilled with you the gifts to fulfill that plan. And don't let any else, anyone else write your story for you. It's your story. You're his creation. He has gifted you for such a time as this. And little did I know when I wrote, I want to make a difference, that the story would expand to, I want to make a difference with people who want to make a difference doing something at a time when it makes a difference. And so I'm writing my story. School's not out. <laughs> 